Let's start right off the bat with a review of safety. Working on any car, we got to put safety first. Working on an electric car, we have some additional safety concerns that we'll need to address. Now working on a car, or any project for that matter, you're always best off having a pair of safety glasses on you at all times. This will protect you against uh, you know, anything hammered, driven, uh, all sorts of problems uh, with an electric car, possibly even sparks. Another thing I really like to work with are mechanics gloves. Uh, these are relatively thin, so I can still handle small parts, screws, uh, all those sorts of things without taking the gloves off. They protect your hands against cuts, scratches, all sorts of things like that. Keep your hands nice and pretty. Another thing you want to keep in mind is keep conductive things off you. Uh, pretty often, I've, I've got a keychain with a carabiner on it, and I just keep this hooked on my belt loop. Well, working on an electric car, that's sort of a bad idea. When you lean over, this can uh, scratch the paint. It could touch battery terminals. So any kind of metal that you usually have on you, just put it off to the side. Make sure you're nice and non-conductive. Same goes for big belt buckles. In that same line, if you wear any jewelry, especially something like gold, you're going to want to take it off while you're working on your car, or at a bare minimum, at least keep it covered up with some other protective gear. This is another really neat component. This is a uh, very large disconnect. This one is made by Anderson Power Products. We commonly call this an Anderson disconnect. These are really common on forklifts. They use them to connect the battery pack to the forklift and also the battery pack to the charger. What's great about these is they use very heavy duty power. Uh, they're nice and big and solid, easy to grab and disconnect. Uh, so one of these will work great as a main battery disconnect on the car. So anytime we're working on the car, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the energy source. In this case, the batteries. And that's something as simple as just pulling this connector apart. They're also designed with nut and bolt holes so that you could mount this on the car uh, to be able to remotely uh, pull it apart or attach some sort of a handle to make it easier to pull apart. And these are real easy to find at junkyards on old forklifts. Now over here we've got my wrenches and the batteries on my car have uh, a different size for the positive versus the negative connection. In my case, the positive battery connections is 9 16 and the negative is half inch. So what I did is I covered the wrenches with uh, a non-conductive shrink wrap and I also color coded them. So I've got red for the positive, black for the negative. I also did the same to two of my socket wrenches. And this is real easy to do. All you need to do, you get some big shrink wrap. You take your wrench, slide it in here, find where the end of the wrench is, cut that a little further, and then you use a heat gun or a hair dryer to shrink it down, and then you'll have a non-conductive handle for your battery wrench. Another way you could do this is with that uh, rubbery plastic tool dip material where you just take the wrench, you dip it down into a can of a rubberized material. Um, it's probably worth actually getting some spare wrenches just to keep around as your battery wrenches. You might want your you know, wrenches that are part of a set to still match that set and all, but uh, it's very nice to have a dedicated set of battery wrenches. Also, like uh, working on any car project, other things you want to keep in mind are, for example, when you're jacking up the car, you want to make sure to have your parking brake set, you want to chalk the wheels, and once it's jacked up, you want to use jack stands. You don't want to rely on just the jack itself to keep the car from falling down on top of you. And of course, follow all other safety instructions. Any manual that came with a power tool, read it, follow the safety first. We want you to be safe while working on this project.